हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडेज क्वेश्चन इज फिल्टर मेथड्स इन फीचर सिलेक्शन टेक्निक्स ओके सो इन अवर लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट देयर आर मेनी फीचर सिलेक्शन टेक्निक्स दैट इंक्लूड्स फिल्टर मेथड्स एम्बेडेड मेथड्स एंड रैपर मेथड्स ओके सो टुडे वील अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज फिल्टर मैथड्स ओके सो वॉट इज फिल्टर मैथड इट इज अट फीचर सिलेक्शन टेक्निक यूनिवेरियट फीचर सिलेक्शन टेक्निक it is uh, in this features are selected on the basis of statistical measures on the basis of statistics measures okay so the filter method actually filter out the irrelevant features and redundant columns from the model by using different matrices so what basically happens if we have set of features set of features it basically filter out the irrelevant feature and redundant columns and select the best features select best features among set of features it selects the best features and then apply the machine learning algorithm so it's a part of data pre processing technique okay so let's understand some common filter methods some common filter methods are some common filter methods so first method is using information gain using information gain or mutual information that is mi okay so mutual information between two random variable is a non negative number first of all which measures the dependency between the variable okay so if it is equal to 0 the value of mi is equal to 0 it is concluded that variables are independent variables are independent and if it is higher value if it has a higher value then there is higher dependency so we'll find the mi or information gain between the uh, independent variable and the target variable and if the value of mi is higher then we select those features because it has higher dependency on the target variable okay so the next removing constant features next filter technique is removing constant features okay so what constant feature these are the type of feature that contain only one value for all the output in the data set that has only one value for all the output for all the outputs in the data set okay so constant Value basically do not provide any useful information. Therefore, it is advisable always to remove the constant features from the data set. So, to remove the constant features, we have a function called variance threshold function. Variance threshold function. Okay. So, uh, this function requires a threshold value. and this function is present in the scikit learn library okay so from scikit learn sklearn from sklearn dot feature selection sklearn dot feature selection import variance threshold variance threshold and then we have to pass a value variance inside variance threshold we have to pass a value of threshold so to find out the constant uh, features we have to uh, pass the value 0 to the threshold so all the value all the features that are uh, that are not impacting the target variable will be removed okay in the same way like constant features we have quasi con constant features so the third technique is removing quasi constant features quasi constant features 
So what are quasi con constant features? These are the features that are almost constant, not full constant, but they are almost constant. Okay. So almost constant. Okay. So in this, in uh, instead of passing zero value, we will pass threshold as 0 0.01. So what does this do? In, uh, so it will remove all the features uh, that Similar value for the output observation. So, as a rule of thumb, uh, we will remove the quasi constant features that have more than 99% of similar values in the for the output observations. Okay, so uh, these are two techniques: removing constant features and removing quasi constant features. So, this these features basically do not impact the target variable. <clears throat> Next is removing duplicate columns. Removing duplicate columns. So removing duplicate columns, uh, duplicate features are the features that have similar values. Two features, those have similar values. So we'll remove one of the columns, okay? Because uh, uh, duplicate features do not add any value to the algorithm training, okay? Rather, they add overhead and unnecessary delay to the training time, okay? So it is always recommended to remove the duplicate column, okay? Next, next uh, filter method is missing value ratio. Missing value ratio. So in this, we'll remove that column that has uh, most of the missing values. Okay, so if missing values are there more than the threshold, that column can be dropped. So we can remove that feature. <clears throat> next is the correlation coefficient method. This is very important method, correlation coefficient method. Okay, so first of all, when it is used, it is used when we have continuous input and we have continuous input and continuous output. When we have continuous input variables, when we have continuous input variables and continuous target variables. Okay, so that time we use correlation coefficient method. So the basic idea is that input variable shows the relationship gives more information. So the idea behind correlation is input variable shows the relationship gives more information. Okay, so its value ranges from minus one to plus one. So if it is closer to plus one, if the value of correlation is closer to uh, plus one, then it is concluded that it has strong positive correlation. It has strong positive correlation. Means two variables, that is input variable and the target variable has strong positive correlation. If it has minus one, that means it has strong negative correlation. Input variable and target variable has strong negative correlation. And if it is zero, there is no relationship between uh, input variable and target variable. Okay, and this is determined from the function called dot C O R R. Okay. <clears throat> Next is the Fisher's score. So Fisher's score it returns the rank of the variables. Rank of the variables rank of the variables on the Fisher's criteria, on the Fisher's criteria. Okay, so then we select the variables with a larger Fisher score. We select the vari select the features with a large Fisher's score, with a large Fisher's score. Okay. Next method, next filter method is the chi-square test. So chi-square test is performed when we have categorical input features, categorical input variables, and output variable is also categorical, categorical output variable. 
और टारगेट रीच ओके तो व्हाटरिकल फीचर एंड दे आर एसोसिएटेड और नॉट ओके तो इट इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट अंडर साइकिट लाइब्रेरी विच ट्राई टू फंक्शन अंडर द सिलेक्ट K best class, okay. So the size square value is calculated in each feature and the target variable and desired number of features with the best size square values are selected. Okay, so best size square values are selected. Next, ANOVA test. Okay, so ANOVA stands for analysis of variance. Analysis of Variance, okay. So when and what when ANOVA test is done? When we have categorical input features, when we have categorical input features, and continuous output, continuous output variable. Okay. At that time, ANOVA test is done. Okay. So ANOVA test is also present under the select a best class of Scikit Learn library. Okay. Uh, in this top k features are uh, selected using the ANOVA test values. Uh, ANOVA test will give values, and top k uh, select uh, features are selected. So in this way, these are the filter methods that are uh, that are uh, done under statistical analysis, and these are very helpful in uh, finding the best features from the data set. Okay. so this is all for uh, uh, fil filter methods we'll see wrapper methods in the next video till then take care bye bye